Hello, acute angels. This is Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will learn how to solve problems involving circles. Are you ready? That's great. This is the last part of our week five to six lessons. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to solve problems on circles. So. How to solve word problems involving circles. In solving problems, we can use Polya's method introduced by George Polya. George Polya is a Hungarian American mathematics educator who believed that problem solving was an art and the skills to solve my problems can be mastered with constant practice. Polya's method includes the following steps. Number one, understand the problem. It means we need to read and analyze the situation. Number two, devise a plan. List down all the given data, determine the unknown, and what is asked in the problem. Step number three, carry out the plan. Write the formula that describes the relationship between the variables and solve for it. And for our last step, we have look back. Verify if the solution obtained is meaningful to the problem solved. Again, the four steps in solving word problems involving circles are understand the problem, devise a plan, carry out the plan, and look back. Let's take a look at some examples. Example number one, find the area of a circular sector whose chord is the side of the square inscribed in a circle with a 4 cm radius. The illustration of the given problem is shown on your screen. The given problem talks about the area of a circular sector. Therefore, we will use the formula in finding the area of a sector. We have Central angle over 360 degrees multiplied to pi r squared. Again, our formula in finding the area of a sector is central angle over 360 degrees multiplied to pi r squared. And since the measurement of the central angle is the same to its intercepted r, we have 90 degrees over 360 degrees multiplied to pi multiplied to the value of r or the radius which is 4 then we write squared the lowest term for 90 over 360 is 1 over 4 then we have to simplify 4 squared 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4 which is 16 therefore we have 1 over 4 multiplied to pi multiplied to 16 pi multiplied to 16 is equal to 16 pi then we have 1 over 4 multiplied to 16 pi 1 fourth multiplied to 16 pi is equal to 16 over 4 times pi and 16 over 4 can be expressed as 4 then we have 4 multiplied to pi and using your calculator we have approximately equal to 12.57 square centimeter as the area of the circular sector in the given problem let's proceed to example number two jurin and Janelle were asked to find the length of a b in the given figure the following are their solutions for Jorin, we have 7x is equal to 9 multiplied to 10. And for the solution of Janelle, we have 7 multiplied to the quantity x plus 7 is equal to 9 multiplied to the quantity 9 plus 10. The question is, who do you think would arrive at the correct answer? Explain your answer. 
Of course, for us to identify who will arrive at the correct answer, we need to check the given figure. As we can see, it talks about the 2 second power theorem. So, our formula would be 7 multiplied to the length of AC, which is x plus 7, equals 9 multiplied to the length of EC, which is 9 plus 10. As we can see, Janelle is the one who will arrive at the correct answer. And that's how we solve problems involving circles. Dear Acute Angels, you did great in watching and listening. I hope you are now confident to answer activities related to it. Again, this is Teacher Anna and see you on another Matinee episode.